After watching this video, it's going to be undeniable that the spiritual realm is very real. Now, many people don't even think that this world exists, but it exists. And just because you don't believe that it's occurring doesn't change the reality. Even I was blown away after watching this video. And I'm a born-again Christian who is very well aware of the spiritual realm. But before I start any video, you know we got to get into the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Demons were caught on video dancing in this voodoo ritual in Africa. Voodoo is a religion that combines African polytheism with ancestor worship. Voodoo is heavily centered around necromancy, sorcery, and witchcraft. This has been exported to other nations such as Haiti, where crime is rampant, poverty is the norm, and the gangs control the government. The Haitians even brought this practice to America when they migrated over to New Orleans, Louisiana. And after this, New Orleans went from being once a safe city to now one of the most violent cities in the country. The correlation to regions that practice this religion as well as crime being rampant are very closely linked. Voodoo is one of the most demonic forms of witchcraft that exists in the entire world. When you embrace something as satanic as this, you open up the legal right for territorial spirits to govern a certain region. And in return, you receive the curses from these demons that manifest in the physical realm, which come in the form of crime, poverty, and disease. The sad part is many cultures that embrace practices that are rooted in witchcraft truly believe that the worship of demons is an integral part of their ethnicity. But that's the main lie that the devil propagates to keep people in bondage. Satan makes cultures worship their lineage and in return make an idol out of their race, which opens the door for even more false idol worship such as practicing the religion of voodoo. As an ex-Hindu, I personally relate to this deception because for the longest time I thought since I was Indian I was obligated to worship these Hindu gods and I even deemed Christianity as a white person's religion, not realizing I was heavily programmed by racist propaganda that was created by the devil himself. The reality is Jesus Christ is not a white person's religion because he was born in Israel and Christianity began spreading in the Middle East which ended up making its way over to Ethiopia. Jesus died for sin not for skin, but the devil will always use this talking point to deceive other cultures in rejecting the true and living God and instead aligning themselves with something that is not of God at all. Now in this video, a YouTuber travels to Africa to document a live voodoo ritual and soon you will see on camera that demons are dancing in the middle of the ritual. The spiritual realm is real and this is proof that our world is very black and white. There is a literal God and there is a literal devil. Let's watch this together and trust me, you're gonna be shocked. As the event proceeded with different displays and presentations, I was still on the lookout for the floating spirit. I had heard his name was called Zhang Beto and it's believed to be the spirit of dead relatives. Among voodoo worshippers, the dead are taught to walk among the living. The ritual hasn't even started yet, but you can already see how this is not of God. Anything that is centered around death is of Satan. Because Jesus says in John 10.10 10, that the thief, referring to Satan, comes only to steal and kill and destroy. Jesus then says, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Whenever themes of death are usually embraced, it invites the presence of the enemy because Jesus also teaches in Matthew 22.31-33 that the Heavenly Father is not God of the dead, but of the living. So the presence of God will never be ushered in when themes of of death are being glorified in cultures. This is the sad deception that many people are under because some of these people think that they're serving God, but in reality, they're just working for the enemy. It was time for the final performance. To see all the masquerades coming out, there were different masquerades who represented different deities and they came out in different adornments. This is the lineup of masquerades on this side, and this is how the masquerades are going to perform today. It was a celebration with drums and lots of dancing and displays. Many people don't know this, but the reason why they play these drums and do these ritualistic dances is because in voodoo, it's believed that playing these drums will put people in a trance because repetition is a form of witchcraft because it's supposed to subdue the mind by hypnotizing the viewer or the listener. You guys check it out, that is a masquerade, but that's what we've waited for for a very long time. It's almost here now. Thank you. 
Now, what if I told you that that spinning mask wig you see there has nothing inside it? You would think I was crazy, right? Have a look again. <laughs> How can this be possible? How can a masquerade be dancing all by itself? It's quite possible because that is literally a demon dancing inside of there. As you guys heard earlier in the video, the whole point of the ceremony was to conjure up spirits of the dead in the ritual. Demons are disembodied spirits, and although they can shapeshift and manifest in physical form, they are very similar to parasites in terms of needing a host to survive. They can bend the laws of physics because they are not natural beings, they are supernatural beings. And physics is only an explanation of the natural world. But this costume that they are dancing in is an example of how they need a host in order to show themselves in the natural world. Somebody's in there, shake it, one, two, three, and they tell it, no one was in there. You know, this is the beauty of voodoo to me. Everything I was seeing before me went against the laws of physics, and I really couldn't explain it. It shows how Africans are powerful, and we have to use it in the right way. You know, we just don't have to be scared of our own culture and history. Those who practice voodoo believe that there is a visible and an invisible world and that those worlds are intertwined. Death for them is a transition to the invisible world, so our predecessors are still with us in spirit. If my oldest father or grandfather dead, I can call his spirit in a big masquerade and then he's going to pray for us. To oh really? Blessing. So the spirit of your dead great grandfather yes. can enter that yeah. and pray for you? Yes, and pray for me. Wow. This is just sad because the deception is so deep when it comes to witchcraft. Many people view satanic practices like this as an empowerment to their nationality, when in reality it is the complete opposite. Opposite. The enemy has made bondage seem like empowerment because he is the master of deception. The only true power that you can attain is receiving the Holy Spirit that comes through faith and repentance in the Father's only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. There is a spiritual world out there, and although many people in America are desensitized to that reality, other countries around the world are very well aware of this. It is not too late to turn to the true and living God. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. And I pray the scales would fall off of people's eyes that think you can blend in God with witchcraft because you can and God clearly spoke against this in the holy scriptures. This voodoo ritual that we saw is a classic example of necromancy which is inquiring of the dead and God specifically spoke against this in Deuteronomy 18 9 through 12 saying when you come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you you shall not learn to follow the abominable practices of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone who burns his son or his daughter as an offering anyone who practices divination or tells fortunes or interprets omens or a sorcerer or a charmer or a medium or a a necromancer or one who inquires of the dead. For whoever does these things is an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God is driving them out before you. This is why certain regions in Africa, as well as the nation of Haiti, are in utter shambles because it violates the commands of God and in return opens up legal right for Satan to wreak havoc. Repent while you still have time if you're engaging in these practices and seek the truth which is only found in Jesus and the word of God. Your soul is valuable and don't let the devil trick you into forfeiting it because eternity is real heaven and hell are real and you cannot go to heaven if you're going to engage in practices like voodoo if you made it all the way to the end of the video i want you to comment down below we rebuke voodoo if you guys want to financially sow into the ministry i have an offering link that's in the description and i also have merch that i dropped recently which you can also find in the description i'll see you guys very soon for another video i love you guys so much may god bless all of you in the mighty name of jesus christ take care and peace out there's only one worthy to sit on the throne can't wait to they called me to get out this world and I'll finally be on my own You see I'm a menace to hell, I'm aware that my name is extremely well known The Lord and his angels are always around me, I know that I'm never alone Walking with God, yeah, my sins been atoned Better not play around with me, cause Jesus Christ called me and made me his own Had to repent on my knees for things in the past I no longer condone The Spirit be giving me peace, always be walking around with Shalom The work of the cross was a mercy show, so I'm gonna be walking on the narrow road